model one mixer TJ mixer some nice filters and features but no direct outs so what I want to do is convert this to post fader out so you can run signal in use the filters treat things and then run that out into your door to record and vice versa you can actually take tracks from your door run it through the channels six channels filter them muck around with them and then record them into new channels in your software so we're going to pick off the post fader signals from each channel connect it to a d sub loom so you get six direct outs left and right 12 channels total so let's do that i've just checked it out ran some signal through from my um oscillator just to check that all the channels are working first and then we're going to open it up and i'll show you how i do it so inside the mixer just took the back panel off and the bottom panel um, each channel has you'll see here it says here pst auxiliary to assign that's what you want to actually connect your um, wires to so each one of these channels has one pst which means post and we're going to solder our wires onto those i've got some eight core wire which i'm going to halve so i have two looms that i'm going to make each one will have a d sub connector these are good because you can open it up and insert the wires and screw them down so you don't have to solder anything we're going to use these and we're going to connect up our wires so this loom will handle eight channels which is actually four stereo channels so uh, one left right two left right three left right four left right and the other one will handle the remaining four channels so channel five left right channel six left right why is it connected channel one two three four five six and i've taken the shields wound them together shielded that and soldered that to an earth point on the case as well to ground it and then i've just used some hot melt glue on top of each of the wires just to keep them from coming undone and then what i'm going to do is these are going to run underneath the bottom cover and clamp down so that will stop them from pulling out it means i don't have to drill any screw holes or drill any holes there at all to pass the cables through so it can be removed later if we need to Okay, next stage, um, I've got my wire with some heat shrink and the little wire stopper and I've got it on connected to the this D sub connector. This is definitely the way to go with the terminals. I'll put a link below, but much easier. Strip off each of the wires and then tighten them into the little terminal positions. And that's pretty much done for cable loom A, and then just to do the same with B. Uh, so that's it. D sub 1, D sub 2. Uh, I've cable tied it to there so it can't come undone. And earth is attached to there. And they're secured so they won't come undone. Plugs plugged back in. Make sure these are all nice and tight. Get your tools out 
make sure there's none in there, then screw the case back on. So that's done. That's how it looks in the end. D sub 1, out 1 to 4. D sub out 5 and 6. D sub 2. Heat shrink the ends and uh, tested it. And it's all good. Signal comes in. Filter it, do whatever you want, mess it up. And then it comes out, the direct outs for recording. So you've got left and right for each channel. 12 outs basically. And off you go, make some music.